Okay, okay, hate may have been a little strong. Hey everyone, my name's Josh, and on this channel, we like to talk about Savage Worlds, the fast, furious, and fun role-playing game. In today's video, I wanna talk about the five reasons why I hate, generally dislike, have grown old of, D&D, that is Dungeons and Dragons, the world's most popular role-playing game. But before you get angry and start typing away in the comments, let me just say that this is just my opinion. If you are enjoying playing D&D, keep doing so. I do not want to ruin anybody's fun. But for me, there are just some aspects of D&D that I just don't like anymore, and that's the reason why I've switched mainly from playing D&D to Savage Worlds. So without further ado, let's jump right in and talk about the five reasons why I hate D&D. Reason number one, I hate hit points. One of the things that annoys me the most about D&D and other hit point based systems is what well, the hit points. Hit points represent how much damage your character can take before they fall unconscious and or die. The problem is that hit points, generally speaking, in most systems don't mean anything until you hit zero. You can be at one hit point and still be fighting as if nothing's wrong. You can also go from being at zero health and unconscious to one health through a potion or spell and all of a sudden, you're ready to go again. This makes combat dull and just a bit too unrealistic for me. Savage Worlds, on the other hand, uses a system called wounds. Instead of having a large pool of hit points, each character can take up to three wounds before they fall unconscious. Additionally, each character has a toughest score that determines how much damage they can take before it actually affects them. Whenever you take damage, you compare the damage to your toughest score. If the damage is less than your toughest score, nothing happens. You are able to absorb that blow and not have it negatively affect you. Imagine it like someone took their fist and punched someone wearing armor. While I might make contact, they're not gonna be hurt. If the damage meets their toughness, the character is now shaken and more susceptible to being hurt in the future. If the damage exceeds their toughness score by four or more, well, now they're going to take a wound. Each wound that a character takes imposes a negative one penalty to all the rolls they make until that wound is healed. If you take more than three wounds, you're now incapacitated and you might die. This system makes combat more dangerous and exciting for me. Every hit matters and every wound has consequences. You can't just shrug off the wound and act like nothing's happened. You're injured. You must be careful and strategic in combat or you might not survive. Reason number two is that I hate classes. Another thing that bothers me about D&D and a few other systems is the class system. And I'll grant you that not all systems have the same problem to the degree that D&D does. Classes are predefined roles that determine what your character can do and how they progress in the game. For example, suppose you choose to be a fighter. In that case, you get particular abilities to make you good at fighting, but not much else. If you decide to be a wizard, you get access to spells, but not much else. The problem with classes is that it limits your choices and creativity. Once you pick a class, you're stuck with it for the rest of the game. You can't change your mind or try something different. You also have to follow a predetermined path of advancement that allows for little room for customization. Sure, there are subclasses and multi-classing every four levels to choose a feat, but overall, the character customization as you level up is very limiting. But in Savage Worlds, there are no classes. You can create any character you want without being constrained by predefined roles. Every character has five attributes. Agility, smarts, spirit, strength, and vigor. You also have skills that represent what your character can do, such as fighting, shooting, persuasion, etc. You can choose any attributes and skills that fit your concept and style. But that's not all. You also have edges and hindrances. Edges are special abilities that give you an edge over others in certain situations. For example, if you have the quick edge, you're more likely to go before others in combat. Hindrances are flaws or disadvantages to make your character more interesting and challenging. For example, if you have the loyal hindrance, you will never leave a friend behind, even if it means risking your own life. With these elements, you can create any kind of character you can imagine without being constrained by classes. You can customize your character as you advance through the game by choosing new skills and edges that fit your story and character development. Reason number three. I hate D&D's inspiration. Inspiration is a mechanic in D&D that's supposed to reward good role playing and creativity by giving players an advantage on one role of their choice. Before we go any further, I do want to say that inspiration was a good step in the right direction. The problem is that inspiration is limited and kind of underwhelming. You can only have one inspiration point at a time. It only gives you advantage on one role, which could be more impressive considering how common advantage is in D&D. Savage Worlds, on the other hand, has a similar mechanic called bennies. Bennies, or benefits, are tokens that represent luck, fate, or divine intervention. You start 
every game session with a certain amount of bennies. And the Game Master can reward you with more bennies for good role playing, clever ideas, or just being awesome. But bennies can do way more than inspiration can. You can use bennies to reroll any skill or damage roll you're not happy with, recover from being shaken, a status effect that prevents you from acting normally in combat, get more power points, the resource you need to cast powers or spells in Savage Worlds, draw a new action card, which determines the order of actions in combat, or influencing the story by introducing minor details or twists that benefit you and your allies. As you can see, bennies are way more versatile and powerful than inspiration. They also encourage more role playing and creativity by giving the players more control and agency over the game. And did I mention that you start with these at the beginning of every game session? Reason number four, I hate how magic works in D&D. D&D has a lot of spells, a lot of spells. There are hundreds of spells in D&D, each with their own name, duration, components, materials, abilities, levels, all sorts of other stuff. The problem is that many of the spells are similar or redundant. Another area of improvement with D&D spells is their specificity and their rigidness. Rarely can you change or modify it in any way. Generally speaking, you can't get stronger or weaker, longer or shorter, bigger or smaller. You can't combine it with other spells or effects. You can't be creative with your magic or at least not as creative as I would like. Savage Worlds has a different approach to magic. Instead of having a massive list of spells, Savage Worlds has powers. Powers are generic effects that allow you to create any kind of magic you want. For example, a power called Bolt allows you to shoot a projectile of energy at your enemy. But what kind of energy? That's up to you. You can decide how your Bolt looks and feels by applying trappings to it. Trappings are cosmetic and thematic elements that define your power's appearance and flavor. For example, you can trap your Bolt as a Fire Bolt, a Ice shard, a lightning bolt, a force blast, anything you can think of. But trappings are not the only way to customize your powers. You can also use modifiers to enhance or alter your powers. Modifiers are an optional rule that allow you to spend more power points to strengthen your power or to cause them to have additional effects. For example, you can use the range modifier to increase the distance of your power, or you can use the glow modifier to cause your target to glow for the duration of the power. And these are just generic modifiers. Most powers have additional modifiers that are unique to them. With these tools, you can create any kind of magic you want without being limited by predefined spells. You can also be more creative and flexible with your magic, changing it to your situation and your preference. Reason number five, I hate D&D's hold action. The hold action in D&D is a mechanic that allows you to delay your turn to a later point in the round. The problem is that the hold action is very restrictive and frustrating in D&D. You have to declare what action you want to take and what's going to trigger it when you announce that you're going on hold. You also only get one action when you use the hold action, meaning there's no bonus action and no movement. Additionally, if your trigger never happens by the time your turn comes up again, you just lost your turn. In my opinion, Sound Worlds has a much better mechanic called on hold. When you go on hold, you simply wait until you want to act. You don't need to announce anything or specify any sort of trigger. You can take your turn whenever you want after your original turn when you went on hold. You can even try to interrupt someone else's turn by making a pose roll against them. If you're on hold and you see the enemy is making a run for it, you would take your turn to run to the door before they do. Are you in a back alley having a shootout? Well, once you're behind cover, go on hold and wait for your opponents to step out from their cover and take your shot at them. This mechanic gives you more freedom and flexibility when you go on hold. You can react to changing circumstances and act accordingly without being locked into a specific action or trigger. It also gives you the ability to surprise your enemy by interrupting their action and making combat more cinematic. So those are the five reasons I have grown tired of D&D and have switched over to Savage Worlds. But what do you think? Do you agree or disagree with me? Let me know down in the comments below and give your reasons why. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might be interested in trying out Savage Worlds. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in trying out Savage Worlds but don't know where to start, check out this video right here.